Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a $630 PC build, or to be exact, $627.94. So yeah, I wanted this build to be pretty high up. It's not really budget to me. Budget to me is $500 and below, but this one's above $500, so it's not budget. But uh, yeah, so it's going to have an AMD CPU, and the graphics card is going to be a GTX 1060 with 3 gigs. So yeah, to start out the build, the CPU is going to be an AMD, which you're going to know. FX 8350, 8-core processor with 4 gigahertz and AMD. 3 plus socket and it's going to come at a price of $129.99 or about 130 bucks now the reason I chose a CPU is because you may know and if not there's a new Xbox coming out called the Xbox X and it's supposedly supposed to have an 8 core processor and I said why not let's just do that to the computer to compete with it so that's kind of why I chose it just for fun and now the motherboard the motherboard is going to be an MSI 970A G43 uh, AM3 plus and 3.0 USB uh, that's what it has in the motherboard, and it has a socket with DDR3 for the RAM, and it's going to come in at a price of $59.99, or about 60 bucks. so yeah. Now, after that, we have a RAM. Now, the RAM is a black diamond memory, 16 gigs of DDR3 at 1,333 megahertz, and it's going to come in at a price of $70.99, or about 71 bucks. so yeah. Now, next is our GPU, or if you don't know, graphics card, which I already said is going to be an EVGA GTX 1060 with 3 gigs of video RAM, and it's going to be the For the Win edition, or FTW edition, which means For the Win, which means it's going to have dual fans instead of having one, and it's going to come at a price of $222.49, or about $223. Bucks. So, yeah. Next is our storage, and I wanted to go with a terabyte, so that's what I went with. It's a terabyte of Seagate 5,900 RPM uh, hard drive, and it's going to come at a, at a price of $49.50, or about 50 bucks. And next, after our storage, is our power supply. Now, our power supply, I normally go with the 430 watt, but I'm going with the 500 just because we have it at 1060. So it's going to be a Corsair 500 watt power supply for $34.99, or about 35 bucks. So yeah. And now our case. I really like this case. I was looking around everywhere for nice cases, and I saw this one for kind of cheap price. It's called an Asia or AZZA. I don't know how they like the title of their brand, but I call it Asia Titan CSAZ 2040 Black. That's the color. It's a black glass and steel ATX mid tower case for $59.99. And that's going to complete our whole build. Now, this video is really short. I kind of went really fast with it. But in total, all the things together, not including monitor and keyboard, just all the parts that I just listed, is going to be $627.94 or, like I said in the beginning, about 630 bucks. So, yeah, this build was kind of a fast build. Nothing really, you know, slow. It was all fast. And, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll probably do more builds later on. But thank you guys so much for watching and bye.